master brake cylinder there. Next it says to get rid of this clip and clevis pin. Next, I need to loosen these two bolts here for the master cylinder, the rear master cylinder. One bolt. Two bolt. Here is the rear master cylinder from the bike. Here's the banana connector for the hydraulic fluid going to the caliper itself. I've got to clean that up. You clean in there as well. Got to pop this off. I want to clean all this up. First thing to do is I want to get rid of this so I can take this boot off. I want to get it so I've got to measure this. I want to get it close to it before I put you know when I put it back together. Well, here's a simple caliper. Now I gotta do a measure inside measurement. Okay, now I've gotta go inside here, so that's basically one and a quarter. Or thirty thirty one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, thirty two millimeter or one and a quarter inches. Alright, let's get rid of this. I don't know what the chances are of getting a new boot, but I'll look into it. Okay, I've got a sir clip in here. A problem I can see right now though is there's the one ring, but that is broken. All right, so I got to work on getting that out because I can't clamp it closed or decrease it to pull it out. That doesn't feel right. So I'm going to run the die on that, run the tap on the nut, brush that. But it all depends on why this thing is just flapping in the breeze. There we go. And replace that. Sure. 
Onkel. The next step is to remove the brake fluid reservoir hose connector. It's this thing right here. As you can see, these have seen better days. So I'm going to use the trusty locking jaw pliers. Even though these aren't vice grips, but that is a general what people usually call them. But all right okay that went easily let me see if a screwdriver will work nope not yet probably should use a big different tip all right i'm not putting any pressure on oh look i can do that by hand now well good thing i use the um same thing as PB Blaster. Now, let's try this other one. Alright, it doesn't feel like it's going to break. It's actually moving. Unlock. Actually going to go from straight down, straight. Alright. Good. I have to replace those because the head's... Either that or make them flathead. Either or. Just need to be broken loose. Okay, now. Alright, the D. Ew, look at that goober. Oh, yuck. Uh, looks like an O-ring. Probably should replace that. Look at that muck in there. Got to clean that out. Here is the status of the rear master cylinder. While I have the ultrasonic cleaner heating up, I put some brake clean in here, brake cleaner. Let it try to work its magic to go into there. I need to replace these screws. The heads are messed up. Just need to clean this connector out, this hose barb. Lever bracket, lever connector. I don't know their term. Gotta clean this up, run the tap through that. Here's the banana plug bolt, banana connector bolt. So I got to clean this off. I might get some new um, washers. These are uh, crush washers, copper crush washers. And as you can see, they've been crushed. I need a circ clip, this C clip I've got to replace because the eyelet is gone on this. So I got to replace this guy. This boot has seen better days. So I gotta see about if I can acquire one of those. That boot covers this. Which this thing goes on to here. Now that presses up against the piston in there. See I need to clean that all up. I was able to find an O-ring to replace this one. a standard size as opposed to metric which this bike is but see that goes right here that is for the reservoir connector to that that perfect I do have to replace these so that fits in there great Able to, this thing shot out finally after holding 60 psi and banging it and all that. Finally, all of a sudden, whoop. so we just go for a test drive. 
put that in there. This thing's going to go in that direction. And see, now this thing goes. That goes there. Now it's time to assemble this thing. I did acquire a new C well, <laughs> new to me C clip. So what I want to do is this is brake fluid. So I want to get things wet. Get that brake fluid in there. Lubricate. side uh, okay uh, see that slips on there okay now I need to get this in Plunger. I think this is a piston. That's what this is. It's a piston. Okay, good. Uh, just put plenty of oil or fluid, however you want to call it. Clip ready. All right, that's going to hold. what I need all right great I will adjust that as necessary but all right look at that bring this back over Put the new O ring in there. Uh, make sure this is all wet with fluid. Make sure this is all nice and wet. Hey, okay, there we go. Take this, I'm gonna make these slotted instead of starred. Hot. Hot stuff, look out. Wow. Hotsy totsy. See, the thing is, is, these screws are just not seen where it's at. It's all hidden, so as long as they work. Snuggle. There we go. 
Rear master cylinder has been rebuilt. It's all ready to go. Do need a new hose from here to the reservoir. And I do need a couple new crush washers. I will adjust this. This is close to where it was before, but once it's in place, I want to adjust the pedal height myself. So uh, hot glue. Whoops. I did put some oil and brake fluid in here just to keep it wet. This thing works great. Next step will be to install it. 